Hi beauties! My awesome assistant and I would like to show you how we made a quick and easy pumpkin using an old pickle jar. So we've got a couple colors. We've got orange and black. They're just acrylic apple barrel type colors from Walmart. I think they cost about 96 or 97 cents a piece. Then we have two brushes, a small and a large. And then this paper here was um, it's a palette, an artist palette for acrylic colors. And then we've got the pickle jar. So there it is. I've gone ahead and washed it all out. So if you um, have seen my mummy, I cleaned it the exact same way. And I'll put the link above so you can see that. Now I'm getting the palette out and we're going to open up the first color which is just an orange. It's actually called pumpkin orange. I had it from last year and so I was really happy to see that it still was nice and came out good. So I'm gonna show the little one how to just brush it right on there not to worry about anything and so we went ahead and let him take care of it. So he's just adding his paint however he'd like we're going to paint the entire jar and he just puts on these great little strokes and so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward so you don't have to watch the whole thing but it's all going to be complete here so now we're finishing I'm going to do the top here and we're going to paint that with the orange as well so you'll see later on in the video um, I didn't really like the way it came out so while it was still wet, I cleaned it all off and then ended up using a Sharpie marker to color it with like I did with the um, mummy. So you could see how it's all kind of eh, not really pretty there. I just didn't care for it. So now we're going to go ahead and add some eyes, a mouth, and a nose. And I will go ahead and show you here that he's going to grab that and the two of us together are going to put on some triangle eyes and I'm just showing him how we're going to do it onto the glass jar so I'll go ahead and let you go ahead and watch his artwork and my artwork being done So at this point, I wanted to leave it very um, childlike, so I didn't really make huge effort to, to really make them into straight triangles. Uh, I just love the fact that we were doing this together as an art project and wanted to just leave that newly learning how to paint and draw phase on there. So we're just going to add a mouth now. And I did have a little bit, I let it dry, but I found that there were a couple spots that had uh, some wet paint, and we just went right over it. It, it didn't have a problem after, um, you know, a second coat was on there. So now I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm going to leave some of that orange open and put in some little teeth there and give him a little bit of a smile. <laughs> so there's little one, he was enjoying it and now we're gonna go ahead and add a nose which is the upside down triangle and we're just gonna color that in the same way not really trying to get the smoothest of lines 
uh, if you were doing this and wanted to have it nice and smooth or maybe different faces go for it it's up to you I mean this is just a fun project to do so that was great high-fiving for our completion of our pumpkin and then we're going to go ahead and just add some lights and we've got these uh, two AA batteries that make these lights work there's ten of them in the case I got these at the Dollar Tree it was for a dollar and so he really wants to open that so I'm going to let him open it up and of course it doesn't come off the right way so we're going to try and get that again there we go get that open for him so he can grab what's in that package this kid loves to open packages so move these batteries out of the way and we're going to get them in so easy just how do I get that this just does not working why isn't it opening oh there's a screw okay so I keep a little bit of screwdrivers in my battery case so I was able to get that off pretty easily I got that little screwdriver case at the Dollar Tree and I would say that is awesome to have in my little shoebox of batteries because it seems like there's always screws in there so we're gonna add the second one in here before I screw it back in we're gonna test it to make sure it works and it does those are super bright they're LEDs so we're gonna go ahead and screw this back on and then I decided I took the screw Oh, I'm having a difficult time so I took the screw and really started to get it in there and then couldn't had a little bit and nah, I'm just gonna wait so we'll go ahead and unravel these and I just wanted to keep them kind of separated so it would really be in the jar everywhere turned them on and we're just gonna easily stick those in that jar and look at how cute that came out so I thought that was really cute but I'm gonna make a couple changes I decided that we are going to um, clean off that lid and get a sharpie marker which that'll be coming here soon I guess I was talking to Trent about something and let's go ahead and get to the pumpkin so I did the sharpie and then I changed the lights to these orange lights which I also found at the Dollar Tree so now I can show you I think I like this one a little bit better what do you think alright beauties this was so much fun and it was a really quick project I didn't cut much out um, so I think it took less than 20 minutes alright beauties have a wonderful day thanks bye <laughs>